everyone. Welcome back to Talk Doula to Me. We are so excited for our guest tonight. Um, Miss Kara is with us. She is one of our local birth mamas. Um, she has experienced um, having a doula um, for her birth, and we are going to jump right in. And we want to hear all about you, Kara. We want to hear details. We want to hear parts of your story. Um, obviously, what you feel comfortable sharing with us. But our community is chomping at the bit to talk about experiences. So tell us a little bit about that. Did you have a doula? How many births um, did you experience with a doula? Tell us some things about that. So with my first birth, I did not have a doula. I didn't even know what a doula was until after my first daughter was born. So when I got pregnant with my second daughter, I decided I wanted a little bit different experience than I had with my first. And so one of the first things I went to find was a doula who could kind of offer emotional support and help me achieve the goals that I wanted in my birth. Awesome. That's wow. awesome. Um, so can you tell us a little bit uh, about like what that experience was like for you? Um, at least with, uh, you said, so you've had, how many kids have you had? I have four. Okay. So three doula births, one yeah. without, um, That's what good. was that like for you with a doula? So my second birth was a vastly different experience with the doula. I remember getting to a place where I thought, I can't do this. This, this is crazy. I'm not, I've had a baby already, but this was a different experience and I'm not ready. I cannot go <laughs> through with this. And she was able to step in in that moment and say, you know, this is normal. You're almost there. Here's what's going on. Um, for me personally, I'm a very like, I want to know exactly what's happening kind of person. And she was able to step in and say, this is where you're at. And this is why you're feeling that. And this is what's coming next. And kind of guide me in a way that I didn't have with my first birth. And I was able to calm down and focus internally and have a baby. So. That's awesome. Very, very cool. Um, tell us about, sorry, Kristen. Do, oh, no, you go. That's okay. Um, I was going to ask, did you have the same doula? for the same, all three of your doula births or did you have different people? So I did not. Um, my doula with my second birth was actually my midwife at my fourth birth. Um, <laughs> and so with my third, I had a doula who was actually a close friend of mine and had just gone through her certification and she was looking for births. So I guess she had done the classes and she needed a certain number of births to finish her certification. And so I was her first birth and that was another different experience. She really offered a lot. Um, she was very peaceful and calm. And while she didn't have the same experience with births that my first doula had, she, she had more connection with me as a person, I guess. <laughs> so, and then with my fourth, I had a completely different doula than the first two. <laughs> And again, a, a totally different experience with her and all of them were exactly what I needed in that time in my life, so. Awesome. Tell us a little bit of part of the experience of, you know, when does, you know, what, what does a doula do for you or what did she do for you? Did she, you know, show up halfway through? Did she stay after? Did she do any visits prior to birth? You know, some of that uh, type of detail. Sure, so with my, first doula birth she came and she was prepared to help with my older daughter who I wanted present at the time she ended up being asleep so we didn't need that but that was one of the things that she was prepared to do and she stayed through my delivery she stayed until I got a successful latch breastfeeding um, while my midwife was there to medically care for me she was there to help with the oh my goodness these after pains are like labor um, and kind of yeah, walk me through breathing through that and um, they actually, I think that postpartum doulas are really great, although I've never had one because the postpartum pains with each labor were <laughs> seemed much worse. Um, with my final birth, I was planning to have a birth at the hospital or at the, at home and transferred to the hospital. So for that, her services were really helping my husband. We, I got taken away in an ambulance and my husband what do I do now? Where, where do I go from here? And she kind of walked him through that, actually drove him to the hospital to be with me. So it was an in the moment, complete change from what we were expecting her to be supportive was for me. And she ended up stepping in and being able to help my husband when she couldn't come with me. So wow. 
<laughs> That's funny. A lot of times we hear that, you know, hey, have you looked into having a doula? And people are like, no, I have my husband or my partner. And I, and then we go, well, does your partner or your husband need a doula? Right. <laughs> yes, exactly. That was with my fourth. I thought, you know what? My husband's going to need someone who's there to support him. And we had the other kids who, thank goodness for that birth, weren't there. But oftentimes I wanted them present in my birth. And we had someone either to support them be there to kind of step in and explain to them what was going on or be there for me. I mean, the role just changed throughout the entire delivery, really. Mm, what good experiences. That's, good. That's awesome. So what would you say was the most impactful part about having a doula? Was there any experience that really stood out to you? Um, so for me with my third birth, when I had my doula, who was, was actually her first birth that she had attended and she just held my hands and sat and prayed with me. She read my affirmations. Like she was just speaking words that I knew ahead of time that I wanted to hear over my birth. Um, we had a moment where the midwife was worried about some things medically. And instead of me thinking, oh my goodness, what's going on? She could just take care of that while I was able to have my focus. And she was just, again, I had this banner on the wall and she was just speaking the words just over me. And it was a, a really great. That's so powerful. Yes. I love that. Mm -hmm. I was thinking that too, Kristen. So like empowering mm -hmm. and so meaningful, especially since, Kara, did you work with her kind of prior to say, hey, this is what my birth plan is. This is what I want read to me. Like I'm gonna prepare all of this for you yes. to do during my birth. Yes, and so those moments when I couldn't, like I, I could plan and I love to think and this is what's gonna happen and this is how it's gonna go. But in the moment, you can't, you're not thinking the same. So she was clear headed and able to really put the focus on the things that mattered to me during my birth. Mm, that's wonderful. Now, if you could, let's see, stand on the top. I don't even know what our tallest building is, but if you could stand on this, the top of the tallest building in the Treasure Coast and say you have all the birth mamas at the, at the bottom and you had a big megaphone. What would you tell them about having a doula? Yay, nay, do it right away. Like <laughs> I would say that having a doula is a really big investment in your birth that you see that when you have someone there that's really your support system that you get the outcome that you want. Um, and even I can say that even in my births where, like I said, I transferred to the hospital with one of my births, my birth didn't turn out how I necessarily wanted it to, but I had someone there that was supporting me through it and knowing what I wanted in these situations to help me have the goals that I wanted to achieve. Mm, that's awesome. Well, Kara, thank you so much for this time. This is such precious experience that you're sharing. We have, um, like you said, we have moms out there that are like, doula what? Like, right? Like what, what the heck is a doula? What is, is that English? I don't even know what you're talking about. And to be able to hear from a mom who has birth, not with just one doula, but with three um, amazing experiences and to be able to kind of share all of that. Um, we cherish you, we cherish those words. Those are so important. Um, and they're so um, just intimate too, you know, just that they're very precious. So we, we don't take that for granted. We are so thankful um, for you sharing with us. And we're thankful that you were our guest today. Thank you. All right, everyone who's watching, thank you for watching. Um, thank you to everyone who continues to follow us. Um, check out and subscribe and click the bell and we will see you guys soon. Bye. Bye.